Hi, and thank you for joining us for the TEA 2020 non-public application instructional videos. This video is presented by the Texas Education Agency, Division of Special Education, Projects and Strategy Development Team. Today we'll be reviewing how an LEA can complete and submit a non-public day application. Local education agencies, LEAs, can access the non-public placement notification and applications through the non-public high-cost funds TEAL application found on your TEAL account homepage. Typically, you will have access to the non-public high-cost funds TEAL app as either a single-member district or as a fiscal agent representative, also known as a shared service arrangement. For presentation purposes, I will be using a fiscal agent representative for Austin ISD. Any items reviewed or entered have no connection to Austin ISD and are intended for demonstration purposes only. Here we are on the high, non-public high-cost funds application landing page. If you ever want to come back to this page specifically, you would click the home button. If you wanted to go back to your Teal account homepage, you'd come to the far right and click the exit button. And this is also where you can access the high cost funds application, the non-public residential application, and what we'll be focusing on, the non-public day application. Student level data is entered on the student demographics page. For a single member district, the county district number, CDN, and district information are pre-populated. The student roster lists the students for the current application year. For a fiscal agent representative, enter the CDN of the fiscal agent district or any of the member districts in the county district number field and click search. The district information and students for the current application year will display. Any students who were in placement during the previous school year will automatically roll over to the current school year. You will click on the pencil icon to the left of the student's name within the student roster and update the application status. It is important that the student is not duplicated within the student roster. Two of the same students will confuse the system. What we'll be focusing on today is how to add a student. To add a student, click Add, located in the last row of the student roster. Enter a valid ID number in the Unique ID field. These are system generated by the Texas Student Data System. Each district has a PEAM specialist that enters student data into the TSDS to generate the Unique ID. The student's demographic information is populated. Enter the original date of placement. Next, we will enter all disabilities. Remember to enter all disabilities for the student. For example, if the student has three disabilities, they will all need to be reflected here. Next, enter the placement status. Click Save. Now you will be asked to enter the following required documents. Ensure the correct file type is selected when uploading the documents. You will upload the student's current IEP. The LEA must highlight and number the sections of the IEP that correspond to the required documentation on the checklist. You then upload a facility contract. The contract must be signed by both the facility and the LEA. A cost analysis must be included for non-public residential contracts. The third piece of required documentation will be a completed checklist. The checklist must document the IEP page numbers where documentation is found. These are the three required documents. There is a section in the file type other. Other is not required when submitting an application. One example of other could be a letter of intent, typically submitted by LEAs who intend to contract with a non-public facility and the facility falls under a not yet approved scenario. A letter of intent will trigger our processes at TEA to start the approval process. Also, other can be any narrative or additional information the district wants to provide. Costs associated with the non-public placement are entered on the funding application page. 
This page is accessed by clicking the funding application on the bottom right of the page or selecting the funding application tab at the top of the page. On the funding application page, click the edit button to select the student. Enter the beginning and ending contract dates. The date should match the dates indicated within the submitted facility contract. Contracts should be drafted to represent the individual student. Going forward, TEA would like to see contracts that are drafted to be student specific in relation to both contract dates and costs. Sometimes there are exceptions to this requirement. For example, if the facility has a model by which seats are purchased at the beginning of the school year, the LEA or the facility would need to provide an addendum to the contract reflecting student specific dates of enrollment and student specific costs. Next, you'd select the non-public facility from the facility drop-down list. The facility information will automatically populate. If the LEA is considering placement at a facility in which the education program has not been approved or the, by the commissioner, the LEA should select not yet approved facility from the drop-down list. Complete the name, address, and phone number of the facility. LEAs must complete the funding information. For non-public day placements, indicate if the LEA or the facility will provide the education services. Is the LEA providing educational services? This is where the LEA would push staff into the facility. Or is the facility providing the educational services? This tends to be the most common selection. The, estimated, the estimate of education services will automatically populate based on the contract dates. Enter the total contract cost. Again, going forward, TEA would like to see contracts that are drafted to be student specific in relation to both contract dates and contract and cost. Sometimes there are exceptions to this requirement. For example, if the facility has a model by which seats are purchased at the beginning of the school year, the LEA or facility would need to provide an addendum to the contract reflecting student specific dates of enrollment and student specific costs. Click View to read and accept the Statement of Assurances and Certification. The Statement of Insurances and Certification text will appear in a separate pop-up. Click Accept. Now that those are accepted, the Certify and Submit button becomes accessible. Before we hit that, we just want to double check, so we'll go back to our Student Demographics page. As you can see, we've uploaded the three required documents. We've, we have all the student demographic information filled out. We will select an instructional setting. Again, you can see on the funding application page, we chose a facility that's already approved by the commissioner and we are ready to certify and submit once we accept our insurances one more time. A window should appear, but we can also check our application status within our student roster and see that that application for that student has been submitted. In the event that it's a not approved, this application status would show as pending. This concludes our non-public day application instructional video. Please take a look at our other instructional videos. Thank you for your time. Take care.